Good morning, this is Colin Greatwood, Applications Engineer for LMI Technologies. Today I'll be showing you how to properly set up your GoSDK environment variable for a user or the system so that you can compile the sample jobs provided when you download the SDK package from the LMI downloads page. So the first thing I want to show you is you can see here I've created a folder in my documents folder with the latest firmware version 5.3.15.52 and in that folder I've placed the SDK download that is made available on LMI Technologies downloads page. Once you've downloaded this file, extract everything right here. Once the download, the zipped folder finishes unzipping, you should have a main folder titled capital go underscore SDK. So we'll take a look at that there's a whole file structure inside this, but that go underscore SDK, all capital capitalized letters, is really the important folder here. Next, you'll go and search for edit the system environment variables. You can also get here from the control panel or settings if you'd like to as well. At the bottom of the system property screen under the advanced tab, you can see this button titled environment variables. Click that. Now we're going to add a new environment variable here. If you have used a previous SDK version and you're really just updating it, then you can update an existing variable. I'll show you that a little bit later. But in this case, I want to create a new environment variable. And since I'm the only user for this computer, I will create it up here under the user environment variables. If you do have multiple users and you'd like them all to have access to the same environment variable folder and therefore the same file structure, you can set that up under the entire system variables, but I typically use the user variables. So here we'll click new, browse for directory. We're going to go and find that go SDK folder that we had just extracted. Here it is. So all you'll do is highlight the Go SDK folder, and you can see that selected here next to folder. Press OK. And then you have to name it this very specific name, capital G, capital O, underscore, capital S, capital D, capital K, underscore, 4. Once you've named the variable Go underscore SDK underscore 4 and properly source the folder, that we had looked at earlier. You can press OK. Now it'll show up in the list. For future reference, if you do want to update an existing go SDK underscore 4 environment variable, you can just change the file structure, uh, the name here. You can click on it, press edit. When I get the next version, all I'll do is update the firmware version folder here, since I store everything in the same location. So you can update it if you so choose. Now I'll press OK. It'll store this environment variable. Then I'll open Visual Studio or some other integrated development environment. Take your pick. And just to make sure that everything works, I'm going to open the C project solution. Doesn't matter which version OS or your debug or release versions you're using, just to, as a quick sanity check to make sure your environment variable is working, I'm going to compile just the configure job here by pressing rebuild. And you can see that it says rebuild all, one succeeded. And if I wanted to, I could now debug or execute a new instance here.